snacks are a very important part of your diet. They can provide just enough fuel between meals to keep you from getting to the starve point, which can often cause you to overeat later on. When trying to choose a healthy snack, the most important thing to remember is to incorporate two or more food groups into a snack and also to read the nutrition labels of packaged snacks that you're choosing. So when looking at packaged snacks, you want to make sure that they're around 200 calories or less per serving, that they don't contain added sugars as one of the first few ingredients, and that they're low in saturated fats and sodiums. Be aware of what companies are adding to the snacks you're choosing to eat. Often they'll add a lot of chemicals or sugars or oils that you really don't need to be consuming. So a great example of this is popcorn. Popcorn is a whole grain and can be a great alternative to chips when you're craving that same crunch. But often companies will add a lot of sweeteners or oils to popcorn. So for example, this popcorn has 0% of your daily saturated fat and 0% of your sugars and only has three ingredients. So this is a great option. Whereas this popcorn has 15% of your daily saturated fat, nine grams of added sugars, and has a laundry list of ingredients. So you're gonna to wanna to try to steer clear of products such as this. Some other great examples of snacks are nuts with no salt added or ones that are lightly salted, which are a great way to incorporate protein and healthy fats into your diet. Fresh or dried fruits with no sugar added are a great snack to take with you on the go. And a personal favorite snack of mine is guacamole or hummus with fresh veggies and whole wheat crackers. Now let's talk bars. There's often confusion about the difference between a protein bar and a granola bar. The main difference is that protein bars are higher in protein, whereas granola bars are gonna be lower in calories and protein and typically incorporate granola or oats. When choosing a bar, the most important thing to look for is one that contains as much or more protein than sugar and one that has five grams or more of fiber per bar. So for example, this one has six grams of protein, five grams of sugar, and seven grams of fiber. So this is a good option. Personally, I would recommend brands like Kind or RX bars, but it's important to note that often you will find protein bars in the health food section of the grocery store rather than in the granola bar aisle. 